Thanks for joining us. We're here with Point Park University men's soccer head coach Jerome Wallstra, and as we'll do periodically through the season, catching up with some thoughts from the head coach. Uh, Jerome, here we are. Point Park men's soccer is 4-2 and two overall, 0-1 oh AMC. What have you seen so far from the team? What has gone right? What has gone wrong? Uh, your general thoughts to this point. Yeah, we're playing good soccer. Uh, we're trying to combine. We're trying to keep the, the ball under control. Um, we make go more goals than I expected, so we're doing all right. And, uh, we have a <clears throat> couple of weaknesses in terms of uh, uh, injuries. Zeke O'Donnell is still out with a, a foot injury. Andres broke his toe. Um, but other than that, the majority of players are, are fit. The guys that come off the bench do an excellent job. I think we're in, we're in good shape. Okay, um, as we enter into the key part of the AMC schedule coming up, um, we've played Walsh for 0-1. Of course, they can't compete for the playoffs, but uh, some key ca games coming up, Fisher, Houghton, uh, Damon, Roberts, Wesleyan, and the rest. If you could touch on um, what you need to do now heading into the meat of the AMC here. Yeah, Fisher, I think it's important that we just beat them and that we do not uh, get injuries or, or cards. Uh, that would be a good thing. Um, and then going to Salem next week, Salem coming to us next week, which should be help our record too. So I think by the end of next week we should be seven and two. Um, then we get Houghton. That's going to be a tough game, but it's going to be fun. We're playing at, at couples. Um, it's going to be. Hopefully, we'll get some students out there. It's on Friday at noon. Um, and that, that they play soccer, and it's going to be a, a good competitive fair game. That's what I expect to see. I'll go on from there. And uh, you mentioned having Houghton coming up here September 30th at Couples and also season finale, uh, AMC finale rather, Robert Wesley and also at Couples October 28th. Uh, they're on the, the carpeted surface at Couples Stadium. How, how does that help you, your team that likes to play on the, on the ground? Uh, how does that work yeah, into your we're game? a technical team. It's the field that we practice on, so we, we feel that, that carpet every day. Uh, so for us, that is a much better environment than playing uh, on a, a bumpy grass field with the quality that we have at Founders Field, which is uh, you know, not good enough in my opinion. Uh, on the other hand, Houghton too is, is used to is playing on very good fields, and so the, the, the advantage is, is a little bit uh, diminished because of that. But um, it, it's, it's how we play. We play a technical game. We're small guys. We're not a big physical team, so we have to uh, have a good feel. Okay, if we could focus on um, some key individual players to this point, uh, some good performers, maybe if you could touch on uh, some some guys that have done well maybe at each level of the field, uh, maybe you know, goalkeeper, defense, midfield, forward, just some guys that have done some well, good Mitch things. Well, is doing a great job replacing Zeke. Um, a lot of personality in the goal, and that's, that's a great thing. Um, he also grew significantly not in length, but <laughs> he grew significantly as a, as a goalkeeper last year, even though he didn't play much but in games, but in practices he really did. Uh, the, the players uh, trust him to do a good job, and, and that is great. Then, um, yeah, everybody else on the field is just playing according to expectations. I think that um, um, Anthony Russo is showing the best he has right now. He's He's fit, he works his butt off, and uh, uh, shows a lot of uh, commitment to the team. I think that that's a great thing. And of course, in the midfield, we, we have Alex Sala, and we, we know what he can do. Um, but also, Nick Rimbowski is, is doing a great job there, uh, uh, picking up a lot of the, the slack sometimes that, that uh, Alex leaves behind. and helps him out there, a lot of good passing, so he's, he's doing a terrific job. Uh, I think the, mo the most surprising player to me is Jack Pinkleton. I was hoping he was going to be a very good player, and uh, but I thought that uh, this past Sunday against Mount Union, he, he was terrific. He had a lot of good ball possession, um, beat players, won balls in every uh, aspect of the game. And, and Matt A, we knew that he was a very talented player, uh, but never were able to, to optimize him. Uh, he, he tends to, to, 
to play a, a lot of dribbling game, which really is great when you are in the attack, but not so great when you are in the, in the midfield playing. And I think now with more pressure on the opposing teams, that he is, is a much more... Um, uh, we, we, we benefit much more from his abilities at this point. Okay, very good, Coach. One more question to get you out of here on this one. Um, six games in so far uh, with uh, plenty more to come. But if there's one or two things that you have to clean up um, that, that maybe you're working on in practice, what are one or two things that you got to uh, improve on as you move forward? Well, there's, a, there's a, a thousand things. But what we're working on this week, we, we yesterday we worked on, on high balls, dealing with high balls uh, thrown into the... Um, Penalty area. I thought that killed us against Walsh. Obviously, uh, we had trouble marking in the mid, in, 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 in the in the in the penalty area, and um, so we worked on that yesterday. Tomorrow we're going to be working on uh, checking to the ball, cleaning that up a little bit, so that we beat we don't have to deal with, with as many 50-50 balls. Um, so we got to clean that up a little bit. And then also we need to work on, on runs in combination with checking to the ball. So those are the main things we're going to be working on this week. All right, very good, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. This had, has been Point Park University men's soccer head coach Jerome Wallstra. We'll check in with you later on in the year. Coming up this weekend, the Pioneers have two games versus Fisher Saturday, Sunday. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.